round one is upon us between two of the best fighters in this division. Hard to find anything resembling a glaring weakness on either side when you break down. There are no weaknesses in these guys. These guys are as more rounded as they come. They both can wrestle, both can grapple, both can strike. They can do it all. And these are the matchups that we dream of as MMA fans. Doubles up on the jet. Man, DC, his hands look good. A lot of volume, a lot of accuracy tonight. He's doing a great job being accurate, but he's also very fast. Look at the hand speed, right? Throwing that jab, no good. Big punch lands over the top. How's he gonna follow this one? Just out of range with the big right hand. Well, you see him land the jab there. He's got the reach advantage. You might as well use it. Right hook to the body. Well, perhaps a sign of things to come as he lands a kick there. Nice kick landed by this gentleman. And just misses with that big right hand. Big Paul punch lands. Now he gets back to range. And a nice job at least staying upright on that. Oh, and a nice jab by him there, and that's going to give his opponent some problems if that keeps landing. He's having a tough time getting his offense going because that jab is just stopping every time. Oh, nice jab. He has a commitment to kicking tonight, and it shows. And he landed the right hand there. Back and forth we go! Great punch landed with so much power. Spinning back this. He didn't telegraph that one at all. Nice leg kick lands. Look at the whip action that comes from him throwing that kick. All right, he engages in a single collar tie here. Punch. A combination lands for him. It was hard to see a miss in that sequence. He's put it all together. I mean, everything is just flowing. He's like in a zone. It's like the basketball who becomes twice the size. This guy today is looking at focus mitts in his opponent. Right hand upstairs. Oh, there he goes, attacking that lead leg to the outside. Nasty kick there. Nasty leg kick. You gotta slow down your opponent. He knew his opponent wanted to move a lot tonight. This is the first step in getting him to slow down and fight at your pace. Oh, big knee! Oh, he's hurt bad. He's hurt bad, John. He's gotta press him. He's gotta go chase that finish down there. Real sneaky head kick gets in there. Forward, forward, forward. Right punches there. That one snuck in. Nice strike. Oh, loaded up on that uppercut, but it's no good. Oh, nice. Nice. Well, we told you off the top he had the reach advantage, and you saw it right there with that punch. Really timing his shots nicely. Good tempo, very accurate, finding the range with relative ease. Yeah, he's doing a great job of really overwhelming his opponent with activity. Come on, buddy. Keep your hands. Nice connection with a the punch there. It's hard to recall a time in the past that his boxing looked this sharp. He's never looked this good. His hands are down. How about that shin? Combination. His coach said on Thursday to us, it has to be punches and punches. It has to be volume. And his student has certainly followed up on that apparel. So much volume, but the accuracy, the accuracy of this fighter is truly unbelievable. All right, so he postures up here and now figures to rain down some ground strikes. Yeah, the ground and pound will be a plenty. 
from this position. Right. Five minutes in the books. All right, so that's the end of the round. Potential adversity here. He's got a cut on his cheek sustained from that strike in the round. Now the focus becomes maximizing these 60 seconds, shutting that cut and preventing it from becoming a major factor here moving forward. All right, so we now look back at some of the action from that previous round, DC. A lot of good highlights on both sides. I mean, a lot of good highlights from both competitors. They both should be very proud of what they accomplished. But I'm telling you, man, I'm not sure they can keep this up. If they land at this clip for another five minutes, somebody's going to sleep. Oh, big punch land. That right hand hurt him a little bit. Look at him chopping the wood. Chop the wood with those leg kicks. Lands with the right hand. He's throwing every part of himself into these big leg kicks. Nice punch there. Look at the angle of that nice body kick. Look at the turnover in that kick. Well, he has landed some good shots, DC, but really unable to string anything together in terms of solid combinations. It's because he's not committing to it fully. He throws his jab. He may float a right hand out there, but he's not really sitting down on the right hand. He really doesn't seem to have the intent on landing it. He's got to be confident that it's going to land, and he's got to really throw his whole entire body into those strikes. Well, you like the thought process to go to the counter. Ultimately, the execution not there. That's a miss. Look at him whip his hip into that kick. Throws the right hand there. Beautiful leg kick thrown. Look at the torso on the right side. Major bruising, and it's only getting worse. Nice loop and punch. So a much different approach for him here in this second round. He was a little bit tentative in round one, a little bit of a feeling out process. Now he has clearly found his rhythm, found the range. We'll see if he can continue with more activity here in round two. Nice defense there, single leg attempt, no good. And there comes the separation now. Nice try. Unable to connect with the right. Look at how he turns his hip into that leg kick. Going back to his patented kicks here, but unable to find the target there. Wow. Oh, he landed a beautiful straight punch there, DC. He's got an edge in reach and certainly is making it count in this one. Blocks that strike. Need this takedown. Right hand on point. Liver kick, if you take those kicks, it's gonna shut your body off. And he connects with a punch there. We'll see if there's more where that came from. Boxing, boxing, boxing. Hit him with the overhead. He's very tricky when he throws that body kick. Oh, blocks the shot. Missed with that attempt. I mean, he's cutting him down the size with these beautiful leg kicks. A little single collar tie there. Well, he continues to find the openings tonight. Beautiful connection with the punch there. Accuracy at its best. You take more of these leg kicks, you will not be able to be very active on your feet. Ooh, head kick lands, he's hurt. Oh, body kick attempt here, it's no good. Shoulder.
Roy gets caught with that punch. Gotta shore up the defense. So he's really starting to put together some significant body shots here. These are gonna take their toll as this fight goes on. Lands a glancing right hand upstairs. That strike blocked by Choi. 10 seconds to go in the round. Now we stop the Muay Thai block. Two rounds in the books. Oh, the round is over and blood is just fauceting out of this cheek. That cheek has gotten out of control. Cut man can only do so much. And given the fact that that cut continues to be attacked by the opponent, if this thing gets any worse, they're going to stop this fight. All right, a lot of tremendous striking action in that last round, DC. I know you don't have a telestrator, but take us through the replay. I mean, I would love to have my telestrator right now. That was a great display of high-level mixed martial arts striking. Both combatants stood toe-to-toe -to -toe and let it all hang out. Are you ready? Are you ready? Third round underway. Oh, nice job there to land the knee strike to the body, again making great use of his length in this matchup. Trying to establish that jab once again. Nice kick. Well, he continues to land a high number of strikes here, just like he did in the previous round. This is a world-class display of striking here tonight. Nice head kick. His misses are entertaining. Unable to connect with the right hand there. Ooh, what a punch. Now connects with the right. Just out of range with that right hook. Nice jab by him there. He's going nose hunting tonight, huh? Yeah, he's great with the jab. And not only as a setup, he really is trying to get damage off every time he throws this punch. Oh, man, that left side is getting beat up now. Look at the redness there. Nice straight punch. All right, he engages in the single collar tie. How good is that right hand? All right, so the taller fighter lands a knee, and Daniel Cormier to my right, I can hear him saying, I wish I was a little bit taller. Choi gets hit with a kick. Oh, and he lands yet another flush knee. That's gonna leave a mark. And again, when you're using this length as effectively as he is here tonight, we might get a finish here in the not too distant future. That's a big strike right there. Oh, he landed another great shot to the body. They're really starting to connect at a high percentage now in the latter stages of this fight. Connects with a right. Choi's strike attempt there is blocked. All right, so the commitment to the takedown pays off. After several failed attempts, he finally gets his first takedown. Now let's see what he can do with it. All right, so inside the open guard of his opponent, you gotta be careful playing around for too long here on the ground with this guy. All right, bottom fighter here, maybe looking to hip escape, DC. Flush right hand is true. Oh, and he escapes up to his feet. Very nice. Look at the force behind that leg kick. Starting to do some really significant damage to the body here. Another strike lands there. Look at him whip his hip into that kick. Straight punch lands. Well, straight right hand has been a good weapon for him. He misses with it there. The Korean Superboy gets hit with the overhand there. Oh, he 
He's landed a high number of total strikes here in the latter stages of this fight. He's really picked up the pace and landing far more strikes than he did in previous rounds. Great punch. Nice jab, follows it up with a nice right hand. Blocks the shot to the body. Counters upstairs with a right. Single collar tie now. Look at how he turns his hip over when he throws that kick. Nice punch lands over the top. Try to establish that jab. Oh, beautiful job to get the takedown late in the round. He is about as conditioned as it gets. He's not looking at the clock necessarily. He's not running clock all offense all the time. He knew he was going to wrestle, and he knew he may have to wrestle early and often. And right now, this situation is often because he's, a t he's been attempting takedowns over and over again. He finally gets one as he gets to the end of the round. Nice work, guys. All right, let's take a look back at some of the replays from that last round. Unbelievable to see these high-level competitors get in each other's face, tuck their chin, bite down on the mouth guard, and just let it all hang out over the course of five minutes. All right, next round is underway. You know these are two of the more conditioned fighters on the roster, so cardio is not going to be an issue here. And for some fighters, you know, you can have one of those adrenaline dumps or the cardio abandons you on fight night. Not the case for these two guys. Both look very fresh as we start this next round. Way to be first. Well, he hasn't really showed any signs of slowing down tonight. He continues to connect on a high volume of strikes here. Just misses with the jab there. Sneaky head kick. Lands a strike there. Good series of strikes by him there. Great job of mixing it up, staying active. Keep it busy, doing great work. by the Korean Super Bowl. Yeah, Ooh, what a punch. Back to the jab now, no good. Whiffs on the straight right hand. And both guys really throwing with authority. Oh, continuing to work the body to great effect. Just out of range with that strike. Leg kick. Joy gets hit with a kick. A nice straight punch there. Now we'll see if he can follow it up. What do you follow up a great punch like this with? I'm excited to see what happens. Well, at this point of the fight, he's way up on the judges' scorecards, and from a stamina standpoint, he looks like he can fight all night. He does a fantastic job of fighting at a great pace, but also knowing exactly where to preserve it or well, to conserve the energy. And it's showing when you look at his gas tank, and it seems as though it's still full. Ooh, big shot land. Yeah. Oh, blocks that kick to the body. Nicely done. Look at him drive his shin into his opponent's body with that body kick. Look at the skip action that allows you to land that big Both kick. fighters throwing heat now. Yeah, he's mixing it all up. Powerful leg kick lands. Nice punch lands over the top. Ooh wee! Ooh wee! What a right hand by this young man. Under two minutes to go.
punch coming, it's blocked. Big leg kick land. Oh, that was a big takedown. Is this the one that's gonna break it? The Korean Superboy getting peppered here from the top. He's gotta figure out a way to cover up. Oh, nicely done there as he escapes back to his feet. Look at him working at trying to shut the liver down. Beautiful strike. Nice outside leg kick by him there, DC. We'll see if he follows it up here. He's really driving his shin into his opponent's thigh, beating his leg up. Beautiful head kick. All right, 45 seconds now to go in the round. That was a thudding leg kick. Good punch. They continue to exchange. And lands the left there. Come on, man. Let's get that oh, collar tie. Just out of range with the straight left hand. Oh, the straight hand lands flush to the body by Choi. Big kick lands. He loaded up on that right hand, too. Man, he's timed his shots nicely. It's like Tom Brady out there. He hasn't missed the target. I mean, you insist Brady, on bringing in Tom Brady. Stop it. John, stop All right, now we take a look back at some of the action in that previous round, DC. A lot to like on both sides, really. I mean, both were intent on going forward. And what happens when nobody wants to take a step back? They meet in the middle. That's exactly what they did, and they both found success over the course of that round. All right, next round is now underway. DC, any major takeaways after the previous five minutes? That both of these guys are very evenly matched. The matchmakers did a fantastic job when they put these two in the octagon. So even though it wasn't crazy, you got to see high level of martial arts. Joy gets caught with that punch. Shake it off. Lands flush with that right hand. Oh, an educated jab there. I could watch this dude jab all day. I mean, he's so light on his feet, and when he pops that jab, it comes right back to his face. He does everything so well, and he's so calm. He's so calm in the face of such a big spot. Oh, and he connects with a the punch there, DC. You like this guy. I like this guy a ton, and to watch his punch like this puts a smile on my face. If your opponent has you in the clinch, pulling down on your head, landing punch after punch, you have got to clear that collar tie, reach back inside, and try to find the face. Got clip with the right hand. Big kick land. Good stick. Just misses with the straight right. Oh, nice straight punch there by Choi. Three minutes now to go to decide this one. Choi's all sorts of bruised up on his body. That is gonna hurt something fierce tomorrow. What a punch. You can really limit the mobility of your opponent with those leg kicks. Well, he put so much stock into this fight, and now we're late in the game, and if he doesn't get a finish, this opportunity goes by the board. I mean, it's almost over. Right now, he's got to start throwing everything he can find at his opponent and hope that he can force a mistake. Nice double leg shot. Oh, he slams his opponent down.
Oh, he's got the knee on the belly. Could be trouble defensively. All right, he continues to bully his opponent here, really manhandling him on the ground. All right, so he's sort of turtled up here. Not great body language. Perhaps he's trying to bait him in a little bit. Back to his feet. Big punch land. Under two minutes now to go in the fight. Just misses with the straight left hand. And they separate. Straight right hand, no good. Oh, and he tags him with the straight. Nice job there by Choi. Nice right hand. Oh, nice. Landed that kick to the outside of the lead leg there, DC. He is chopping up that leg. They say chop down the tree. You beat your opponent by slowing him down first with those nice outside leg kicks. Blocks the shot. Oh, counters with an overhand left. He stuck that one. The right hand just misses. Oh, lands a stiff punch there. Nice connection. Oh, nice land. Well, he misses with the left punch there. Nice take down, man. Posturing up now. And now the damage is about to start. Well, anytime you are in a ground fighting situation with this fighter, you're potentially playing with fire. All right, he's very comfortable fighting off his back, DC. Now looks like he's trying to hip escape. Yeah, he's trying to hip escape or maybe look for a Kimura here. Can't take many of those, you better check. Oh, straight punch. All right, let's look back at some of the action, DC. They go the distance tonight, but you gotta think he won over the judges with his striking acumen tonight. Yeah, you got to watch one of the best strikers in the entire UFC. He did everything so well, and in my opinion, he should cruise to a very easy decision. Official decision is now in. Here is Bruce Buff. Ladies and gentlemen, after five rounds, we go to the judges' scorecards for a decision. All three judges score the contest 50 45. Declaring the winner by unanimous decision, 